What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Main Deck Monday. Today we're gonna take take a look at one of my favorite decks, Raichu Bats. Now, if you've seen, if you've been around this channel for a little while, you know that I played this deck a lot, especially when I was playing the tournaments online. I played a Raichu Bats Bronzong deck, but today I'm gonna bring it back. And we're gonna see is this deck so good or not? I personally think it's still a really good deck. But obviously it hasn't been played that much, uh, but today we're going to show it off and see how good of a deck it is. Now our main attacker is going to be this Raichu. Now Raichu has the attack Circle Circuit. Uh, this attack does 20 damage times the number of your benched Pokemon. So once you have 8 benched Pokemon on the field, you can do 160 damage. And with the Muscle Band, you can do 180 damage. Now that sounds like it's really complicated, hard to do, but I promise it's going to be really easy. And we're going to take some knockouts with some Raichu. Uh, with the Raichu. Alright, so our Pikachu that we're going to use is this Pikachu. And the main reason why is because of Nuzzle. Nuzzle has it uh, says, flip a coin of heads. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. So now they can't attack your Raichu. Uh, some decks are playing, I've seen some decks play Wally. And, and I've thought about Wally so that we can attack turn one with Raichu. But it still seems really hard to get that off. I'd rather just put down a bunch of Pikachus and uh, Zubats turn one. Let one of them get knocked out. Then uh, be good to go the next turn to start using Circle Circuit. Alright, so play a 4-3-2 Crobat line. That's all you pretty much need. Uh, Zubat has Skill Dive, does 10 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Crobat is for the Sneaky Bite to put uh, two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. So this way you can help do damage. If you don't have a Muscle Bait, if you don't have a full bench, Golbat can help you out there, which is really nice. And Supercross does 10 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. And finally, Crobat with the Surprise Bite, which puts three damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. And Skill Dive, do 30 damage somewhere. Now, I think this deck's still really good, especially right now since Night March is very, very big in this format. And all Night March decks play like Dimension Valley, and what you could do... Is you're able to like Crobat surprise by to knock out like Joltix and uh, stuff like that. Maybe double surprise by to knock out Pokeboots on the bench, which could be really nice. And also you can surprise by and then use Dimension Valley for Skill Dive to knock out Crobats, which is pretty nice as well. So I think this deck is still really good. I think it can be Night March and Vesquin and all that stuff. You just have to be careful when putting down Shamans to give your opponent life steal targets. And we we'll play three Shamans, of course, that will set up to draw a bunch of cards in our hand. So that's all we're going to play. We did play Bronzong before, but now I don't think it's needed with Puzzle Time. Now, the rest of the cards in the deck, one Battle Crusher discards three cards from your deck. Uh, these are mainly for supporter cards, but I'm still trying to decide if this card is needed or not. We play one Enhanced Hammer to discard a special energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon. And the reason why we play this is for Giratina. If Giratina starts hitting you and they knock you out, well, you can't play your DCEs because Giratina has Chaos Well, which makes it where you can't attach special energies or, sky or a stadium card to play. Which is double bad. So you can slow them down by playing Hand Stare and discard a Double Dragon or a DC, which is really nice. And combine this with Zerosic, which lets discards a Tool or Special Energy card on your opponent's field. You can discard a ton of Special Energies, which is really nice. And since you play the four Puzzle Times once again, you can reuse Enhanced Stammer or uh, Zerosic. If you don't know Puzzle Time, what we're mainly used for is the second effect. If you play two of these cards, put two two cards from Discard Pile into your hand. So this way you can reuse like certain cards like DCE, Enhanced Stammer, BS Seeker if needed. But also, you can use the first one if, if you need to as well. Uh, if you play one of these cards, look at the top three cards of your deck and put them back in any order. Alright, so we play two Love Ball to search it for 90, a Pokemon 90 HP or less. Uh, this can get you out Pikachu, Raichu, Zubat, or Goat. I kind of want to play a little bit more Love Balls. Um, you can maybe kind of co uh, compress it for a third Love Ball. But sometimes you need to compress or discard these support cards just so you have in your hand or with VS Secure, which is still really nice. Now I play one Secure Dash instead of Super Rod, shuffle five Pokemon from your discard pile back into your deck. Now this is going to help you out a lot, especially when your opponent counters your Skyfield. If you don't know, uh, Skyfield lets you have up to eight Pokemon on your bench. So when they bump your Skyfield, you have to discard a bunch of Pokemon, but then you can get back with Secure Dash. And once again, since we'll play a puzzle time, we can re reuse Secure Dash over and over again. Now, I know one thing that the deck does struggle with is, like, fighting Pubels to get 40 plus HP to Pokemon, but that's why we're playing Stardom Megaphone to discard all towards all discard all discard Pokemon tool cards attached to each of your opponent's Pokemon. In this game, rid of the fighting Pubels, and get rid of uh, Spearlings as well, which is pretty nice. Uh, so that's why it's in the deck. Once again, you can bind this to start with uh, Puzzle Time, and you can reuse them over and over again. Uh, for a trade as well, 4 Ultra Ball, 4 Via Seeker, almost staple on almost all my decks, like I always say. So one AZ to turn one Pokemon back into your hand, but you have to discard all cards attached to it. Now this is the mainly reused Crobat, and it's the AZ of Shamans as well. Um, if you if your opponent likes to do a Shaman to kind of stall, you get AZ it back into your hand instead of committing a DCE. And also you can just pick up a Crobat line, reuse it uh, the, the turn you pick it up, which is cool as well. Alright, one Hex Man to shut down abilities. This is mainly for Trevenant, because Trevenant has the Forest Curse ability, making where you can't use item cards. It's still probably a bad matchup. 
Uh, now, this is why I think the deck probably loses, is because of Trevenant. Trevenant just locks, locks down item cards, and you're pretty much in a bad situation, as well as Vesper Queen, uh, Vileplume. Um, but I think you can probably beat, you could beat Vesper Vileplume, I think, in my head you can, but you can't beat Trevenant, which I know it seems weird that I'm saying that. Um, but I think I think you have a better matchup against Vesco Valve than you do Trevenant. Uh, just because Trevenant, like, spreads the damage everywhere, while Vesco is just not going to act Pokemon. Um, I don't know. It's interesting to see what's going to happen. Can this deck be out of luck or not? I'm not 100% sure. You do play a ton of item cards, uh, but you do play the Hex Maniac. Uh, it's still only one. I don't, I don't know. A tier one item lock probably just wins no matter what. You can't really do much about that. So one Lysander, bring a Pokemon off the bench. One in, three Sycamore. Uh, one Zerosa could have been over that. Three Skyfield. We I do want a fourth one, but we can't fit it in. And once again, we play Puzzle Time to reuse Skyfields. Three Muscle Bands. We do 20 more, 20 more damage to the Act Pokemon. And four DC, which is the only uh, special energy card we do play. Now, usually when you play just DC, you're scared of, like, you know, Giratina. Uh, because you can't attach with Chaos Well, But like I said, we have Enhanced Hammer and Sorosic to help that out. But there you go. There is my Raichu Crobat deck. I think it's still somewhat good, especially if Night March is dominating the field. I think it can be like the Water Toolbox deck uh, as well. You can knock out Science Toads, especially when you like have Golbats and Crobats as well, which is pretty neat. I think the deck is really strong. I think it can be Darker Giratina. I think it can be a ton of stuff. It will struggle against Item Lock, item lock decks. I'll give you that for sure. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and let's see the deck in action. Alright, we're putting against W3RO playing a Psychic, Lightning, and a Colors deck, so it definitely seems like a Night March deck, most likely. And let's see who gets to go first. Hopefully, we'll be able to go first, get down some Pikachus, get down some Zubats, and be A OK. -okay. And we won the coin flip, so we get to go first, which is great, because we need that turn of setting up. But they have Psychic Sleeves, which kind of confuses me, or Fairy Sleeves, which uh, kind of confuses me. So we get a mulligan, and we'll press done. We're going to show up our hands the deck and draw six. New cards, hopefully find some Pikachus and some Zubats. We, of course, don't want to start Shebae. That is always really bad. And, all right, so we mulligan again. All right, so another mulligan. That would have been a decent hand with the Love Ball and Ultra Ball both in there. And we got a Pikachu. We got an Ultra Ball, Skyfield. We got some stuff to play with. And let's see, what is our point of plan? Now, I think regardless, we're an Ultra Ball. Probably just card the Puzzle Time and Golbat. Uh, maybe get another Pikachu to guarantee an attacker next turn, which definitely seems like the better play. Uh, no, you have to discard a puzzle time, but sometimes you have to do that. We see, okay, so there's a Mew and a Pumpkin Boo. Okay, so I'm going to Ultra Ball, discard Gobat and Zerosic. Okay, and with this, I'm going to grab a good old another Pikachu. Okay, come on now, Pikachu. All right, so grab that guy. <clears throat> we'll put the Pikachu down right here. DC this guy. Put down a Skyfield, and we're going to Sycamore, discard our hand, draw in seven new cards. Looking for some Zubats, of course, so that may, may maybe we can snipe next turn. All right, so there's double Zubat, one and two. All right, and we'll pass on to our opponent's turn. So next turn, we can do 40 damage with the Zubats. If they put down a Joltik, we can knock it out. Uh, it looks like Pikachu can take a knockout. All right, you can take a knockout as well next turn, which is very great. Um... And let's see what's going to happen. Hopefully, my opponent puts down some, some Joltics. We can snipe those off with some Golbats. Uh, DC going to the active. He does need a Skyfield to still attack with this Pokeboo. There's an Ultra Ball. Going to discard a Lambent and an N. And let's see what does our opponent decide to get out. Probably a Shebae, most likely. Or if he gets the Joltic down. Oh, no, Shaman. Okay. Now, this is great. My opponent put down the, a bunch of Shamans. We can maybe try to win off with those. We can maybe keep sniping them. Uh, put in the 20 pressure, 20, 20, 20. Uh, Shaman come down. My opponent will draw two cards off that Shaman, all right? So set up for two, one and two, going into their hand. And let's see what else does my opponent have. There's another new coming down the field. Uh, Joltik, which is great. Now we can knock that guy out if we want to. Now, what my opponent can do is fill their bench up and then uh, di dump the Skyfell to discard a Shaman off the bench, which could be really neat. Uh, but Jolted coming down is great for us. We can maybe knock that out next turn. We see an Ultra Ball discarding a Pumpkin Boot and a Lampant. My opponent is still digging for this Dimension Valley. I imagine that's what we're trying to see. All right, so it looks like they're not going to get anything. And will we see an... Oh, oh he can Nightmarch with Jolted now. I uh, forgot he just needed the Dimension Valley even more. So there you go. My opponent taking the knockout. We'll send the Pikachu. And let's see what happens on to our turn. What do we get? We get an Ultra Ball. So we're an Ultra Ball. Discard Raichu and AZ. Now, I know it, it seems like the correct play is definitely... To like get the Golbat AZ at the Golbat, take a knockout. Uh, but we need to get an. Oh my goodness, we have a Golbat prize. Okay, so that's not good. Uh, we'll grab a Golbat, put that down. We'll put down a Raichu. We need to find another Pikachu for Fog Turn. We'll put 20 damage onto this Joltik. Okay. Uh, put down a Raichu. And we'll Sycamore discard our hand. Draw the 70 cards. Let's see what can we find off the Sycamore. Give me another Pikachu. And we don't have one yet. So we're going to train as well. Look at the top four cards of our deck. We'll grab a Love Ball. That's what we need to see. 
So grab the love ball, and with the love ball, grab another Pikachu. Come on down, buddy. And I'm fine with just keeping my hand like that. Wait, hold on. Yeah, 20, 40, 60. That would be a knockout with the Circle Circus. So that's perfect. 20, 40, 60. Hopefully we get a gold bat off this prize card so that we can knock out this Joltig. So we'll go down to five prize cards. What do we get? We get a Love Ball K. Uh, that can get us another Pikachu the following turn to help power us up. And let's see what would my opponent do. Now, we can still get a uh, a Crobat to knock out the Joltig. It just kind of stinks because we waste that 20 damage. Uh, we also need to find a DC for the following turn. Uh, but let's see what does our opponent decide to do. Can we get the Night March deck? There's a Pumpkin coming to the Axe spot. Our opponent is going to draw for their turn. Now, with the Pumpkin coming up, they will definitely need a Dimension Valley. Uh, so they need to find that for sure. Uh, once again, our opponent can fill his bench up and then discard that Shaman off the bench. So we've seen Ultra Ball discarding a Mew and a Psychic Energy. And let's see what does my opponent decide to get out. Maybe another Shaman to help draw some more cards. Regardless, we have Enhanced Hammer so we can... Uh, Discard the DC off the active if we need to. So a Mew coming down. Alrighty. Uh, interesting that he grabs a Mew and not another Night March or a Shape. I guess he must already have something in his hand. And he just needs to discard the Mew. So there's an escape rope. I'm fine with just sacrificing the uh, Zubat. That's great with me. Um, the Zubat being dis getting knocked out is not that big of a deal. Here comes a Joltik. Okay. And there's a DC going to the active. That's very. Uh, it's a very interesting move. But Night March for the knockout. Knocking out a Zubat. Uh, hitting 120. My opponent going to have four prize cards. But what we can do next turn is definitely knock out the Joltik and knock out somebody else would be really cool. So let's send the goal bat. He has free retreat. Doesn't really matter that much. And on our turn, what do we get? We get an end. So we're going to put down Raichu. I'm going to love ball for another Pikachu. I wish we can love ball for another goal bat. Uh, well, I mean, we couldn't regardless right now. How many Crobats are in our deck? There is two Crobats, okay? So we'll grab the Zubat. We'll put that down. We'll put a Muspin on the bench, right? You. We'll play Trainers Mode. Look at top four cards of our deck. We're looking for an Ultra Ball. No, that's not an Ultra Ball. That's not what we needed to get. Uh, we couldn't get a VS Seeker. All right. And with VS Seeker, I'm just going to play Sycamore, discard our hand, draw in 70 cards to try to guarantee that Crobat. Or we could AZ. Ooh, AZ could guarantee us the knockout. So yeah, let's do, let's do that instead. Let's get the AZ. Go to AZ, pick up the Golbat. Uh, we'll sit the right you. Put down the Zubat. Put down the Golbat. Wait. Oh, we already put a go back down this turn. That's, oh my goodness, I already messed up there. That's my fault. I forgot that we already uh, played that down. Whoops. I forgot we put the Zubat down this time and we sacrificed the other Zubat. That's my bad. And we'll just circle circuit for the knockout. Yeah, that was just my bad. I, I'm i silly. All right, so we'll take a knock on the uh, Joltik. Go down to four price cards and we get a Sacred Ash, which is great. We can maybe sh shuffle in some Zubats and uh, we actually have one go back prize as well, or discard as well. So that's my fault. Oh man. Making some, some silly, uh, silly, silly mistakes. So another mute hits the field. Alright, so we see a treat to uh, Shave, and we might see a Sky Return. Uh, hopefully he doesn't see that Shaman and just get knocked out. That would be pretty interesting. Because we can knock it out already. 20, 40, 60 times 2 is 120. Did my opponent make a big mistake? Did they make a... Okay, there's an Acrobite. Look at the top two cards of their deck. They're going to discard a Bicycle. Alright. Yeah, that was my fault. I sh I sh okay, Muscle Man. Go into the Mew. Uh, DC to the active. And we're going to see a Sky Return. For 50 or for 30 and this is looking great for us um yeah this is looking i actually like this um we're, we're looking pretty good right now start our turn we get a right you uh we'll go back we'll put 20 damage on the mew with the muscle band we'll sacred ash shuffle in the uh one two three four i guess only those four that's all we have so let's shuffle those four in the deck um, and now do we play down Shamans? No, I'm not going to. Yeah, I'm just going to play an end. We're going to show up ahead the deck and get four cards. And we kind of get rid of that Shaman and DC in my opponent's hand, which could be really nice. Uh, we get a Train as well and a Hex Maniac. So I'm going to Train as well. Look at top four cards of our deck. We're going to grab an Ultra Ball, okay? And with the Ultra Ball, I'm going to discard a Hex Maniac and an Enhanced Hammer. And with this, I'm going to grab another Golbat. Uh, yep, there we go. There's a Golbat. And what we can do next turn is we actually can win the game if my opponent puts down a uh, Shebe. So we're Golbat, put 20, uh, 20 damage onto his Mew. And we're going to Circle Circuit for 20, 40, 60. Uh, yeah, that's a knockout. I was making sure I did the math correct. All right, so uh, if, he had, if he had a Fighting Crew about this, would be different. But he doesn't, so that's great. Uh, so we get a Golbat, all right? My opponent's probably will send up this Mew with the damage already on it. But we can put down a Crobat, take a knock on it. Go down two prize cards and hopefully Lysander for Shaman to win the game if he puts one down. We've only played, we haven't actually played our Lysander, so we have to find that as well. 24 cards left in our deck. There's a must ban. I'm going to the bench, Mew. Can he, uh, okay, there's no Shaman in our discard pile as well, which is great. So must ban going to that guy. Can my opponent find a way to win this game or not? There's an Acrobite. Don't look at top two cards. Other deck, discarding a Battlecrusher. Alrighty, there's another Battlecrusher. Go discard three cards out of their deck. 
how many night marchers are in there? Two, four, five. So they have plenty of night marchers left. Uh, they discarded some some pump moves and some other stuff. Four pump moves, three lampets, and a joltic. All right, so they it looks like they have multiple joltics left. But if they put down a joltic, that'd be really bad for them. We get Crobat take a knock on it. So we see a Via Secret Forest Sycamore. They're gonna discard their hand, draw seven new cards. And like I said, if they put down a Crobat, they are they are gonna be. I mean, if they put down a joltic, they're gonna be in trouble because what we can do is if you Crobat knock out joltic. Uh, Get another Crobat and knock out the Mew, and then knock out another Pokemon. Uh, which seems very hard to do, but maybe we'll be able to do it next turn. There's a Dimitri Valley coming down, finally, for my opponents, okay? That's what they needed a long time ago. And can my opponent find a Joltik to take a knockout this turn? If that happens, we'll need a DC as well. But we've only played the one DCs. We really haven't done much. We've just kind of been drawing, having good draws. My opponent has been kind of uh, whiffing on some stuff. But they received Ultra Ball. Go to discard a Psychic and a Megaphone. And they're gonna grab a Joltic. That's what we want. That's what we want to see. Uh, we can knock that out with a Crobat if needed. Okay. Uh, is Joltic hitting the field? And looks like we might see a Nine March. Gonna knock out a Raichu for sure. My opponent will go down to three prize cards, and they do 180 damage, so 160 base. All right. So we're gonna go back and all to our turn. What happens? What do we get? Well, we get a Via Seeker. That's a great top deck. So we're gonna Shaman set up for four. All right. Can we find a Crobat or not? All right, so there's a Crobat that's perfect. So a Crobat put 30 damage onto this Joltik. We will take a prize card, going down to two. We'll get a DCE, uh, 20, 40, 60. So what we can do is we can be a Seeker for an AZ. We can AZ pick up the Crobat, uh, putting down the Raichu. And there's the Victor screen. So what we would have done is with a Crobat, to put 30 damage on the active, put down the Zubat, and knock out the uh, the bench uh, Mew. So there we go. We would have took a three prize card that turn, which is really, really nice. And you can see how this deck does beat Night March. Now, Night March can still play like Hex Maniac to maybe make it where your Goats and Crowets don't work. Uh, but it's still a really good matchup, I think, in your favor for sure. And as you see, we didn't even use our Shamans. We kind of just held on to our Shamans. Um, and the reason why we did this is because we really don't need that many bench Pokemon to knock out Night Marchers. Now, if they would have played Fighting Fury Belt, this would have been a little bit different. Uh, because they would have made Jolt, uh, a punk we have 100 HP instead of 60, but I think we still would have been fine regardless. But we'll see one more game with the Raichu Crobat deck, and we'll see what happens in the next game. Hopefully, we can get another win with this deck. Alright, we're putting against Unikill, playing a Water, Colors, Metal, and a Psychic deck. Now, this could be a Water Toolbox with, like, Jirachi and Hoopa. Uh, the Water, I mean, the Colors could be Shave, Water could be just Water Attackers. Alright, and let's see, what do we get? Alright, so we, I, I got nervous. I thought we were pissing to start with Zubat. But we got a Zubat and a Shebe. I mean, I thought we were going to start with just Shebe. Alright, so my Polo Mulligans, they play in Maintenance, Fighting Fury Belt, Headringer. Interesting. Alright, so we're going to show up deck and draw seven new guards. And uh, another Mulligan, so Fair Energy, Team Rocket, Sandy Work, and Delinquent. What are we playing against? Alright, it definitely seems an interesting deck. Alright, so it looks like they did get a Pokemon. And let's see what's going to happen. Yes, yes. Alright, so we'll press Done. We don't want to put that guy down. And there's a Bumblebee. So it looks like a meal kind of deck. So we'll Love Ball, get out of Pikachu. Now, I'm not 100% sure if I want to put down our DCE. They probably play some way of uh, getting rid of those. So we'll play Trainers Mall, look at top four cards of our deck. Uh, we won't grab anything, I guess. Let's see. Let's show Playman real quick. Uh, none of the uh, I'm kind of tempted to grab like Sycamore, just dump our hand, draw seven of cards, which. It doesn't seem too bad. I know I have to commit that DC down, but I want to put down more, more Zubats and stuff. So I'll put down a Muscle Band, Skyfield, and I'm just going to sickle more. I'm going to uh, drop that Shaman. I don't want the Shaman down the field, actually. All right, so we're going to draw 70 cards. There's a Pikachu, and we'll just end our turn onto our opponent's turn. All right, so let's see what happens. I was hoping to get down more Zubats, maybe knock out somebody uh, that has maybe 40 HP or something. But we'll see what our opponent is playing. They're probably going to play something to disrupt that DC off our Pikachu. I imagine they might. Uh, but we'll see. I don't know. Uh, we do have a Via Seeker for maybe an end next turn if we want to play that. But let's see. What does our opponent do? There's looks like a, a Waylord. Heavy ball for good old Waylords. Looks like it might be a... Oh, Christian Hammer. And heads. I, I knew it. I knew they were playing some kind of disruptive card. So Waylord EX coming down the field. Okay. Uh, Fear due to the active. Okay. And there's a rough seas coming down. Gonna bump that sky field. And and both players show up the hand into deck and draw six new cards. Alright, so the question is, can we can we beat a Waylord deck or not? Alright, so we got a gold bad, puzzle time, DCE. So that's actually a pretty good hand. Uh maintenance gonna put two cards in their hand and draw a card. Okay. 
Very interesting that they're playing maintenance. Okay, and will they use Burrow or Rototiller? Fighting for going down to the Waylord, give it 290 HP. Okay, and there's a Burrow going to discard the top card of our deck, going to discard a Love Ball. That could be really useful. And there's another Burrow going to discard a VS Seeker, which could be another useful card. So on our turn, we get a VS Seeker. Hey, there we go, top decks. So I'm going to put down the Golbat. I'm going to put 20 damage onto the Waylord. I'm going to put a DC on this guy, and I'm going to put down Skyfell as well and bump that Rough Seas. And what I'm going to... Oh, we have to play... Oh, man. Do we play an in? Uh, yeah, we kind of need to. We could maybe play Sycamore, but then discard a puzzle time. So, no, let's go, let's just go for Sycamore. My opponent only has three cards in the hand. They might just have a bad hand of three. So, let's Sycamore, discard our hand, draw in seven of cards. Alrighty, that's not what I wanted to see. So, we're going to Compressor. And with Compressor... We're going to discard an AZ Zerosic. Um, and probably the Enhanced Hammer, that seems pretty useless. So I'm going to discard those three. We'll play Trainers Ball. Look at top cards of our deck. We'll grab an Ultra Ball. That's what we need to see. Uh, so we'll grab Ultra Ball. And we'll have to discard the, goal, the double Golbat to grab a Raichu. Oh, what? Do we have three Raichu Prize? We do. That's fancy. All right, so put the Raichu on this guy. We'll play Shaman, uh, set up for four new cards, and we're looking for some more Pokemon to put down the field. All right, so come on, give me some Zubats, uh, some more Pikachus. More Zubats would be perfect. All right, so that's not more Zubats. Uh, can maybe Puzzle Time? We can Double Puzzle. I don't want to Double Puzzle just yet. So I'm going to play uh, Shaman, set up for one. Okay, yes. Come on, give me a Love Ball or Zubat. Come on, and there's an Ultra Ball. Okay. So, let's see, what can we do? We get Ultra Ball, get out of Zubat for sure this turn. So, I'm going to Ultra Ball discard 1, 2, and with this, I'm going to get a Zubat. Alright, so grab a Zubat, we'll put that down. I'm trying to fill my bench up so that way we can maybe do a ton of damage to Waylord. We will retreat into the uh, Raichu, and we'll do Circle Circuit for 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. Alright, so 120 damage, we're still not knocking on Waylord. So, we'll take one, oh, wrong prize card. Alright, there's a Raichu. Hey, there we go. And here comes good old Waylord EX. Alright, so my opponent's turn. Do they have a bad hand or not is the real question. Now, next turn. Oh, there's a Mew. Okay. Very interesting. Okay, so Mew coming to the field. There's a Team Rocket's handiwork. Tails and heads. So we have to discard. Oh, you discard two cards from our deck. There's a Megaphone. Get rid of that Muscle Band. Uh, another Muscle Band. And we'll see a pass onto our turn. Alright, so 270. So get a Zubat. We'll play down Raichu. We will... Double puzzle time. All right. Yes, we'll put two cards in our hands. And with this, I'm going to grab a Crobat. Uh, and a Muscle Band. Yes, yeah, so we'll grab those two. We'll put down the Crobat. All right. We'll do 30 damage to the active. All right. We'll put down Muscle Band on the active. And we'll go for a Circle Circuit. Uh, next turn, we can knock out that Waylord if my opponent doesn't do anything. So 140 damage. He has 100 HP left. Hmm. All right. So we're going to draw a card. I guess we should have maybe done 30 to this Mew. And the next turn, knock it out Golbat. Uh, there's a Professor Birch's Observation. Come on, Birch. Beat our team. It tells. Only going to get four cards with the Birch. Okay. All right. So let's see what else happens. Uh, there's a Super Scoop up. Tails. All right. That's what we need to see. Uh, another Crush Hammer. And the heads. All right. Going to discard that DC off the active. And let's see what else does my opponent have. A pass onto our turn. Great. All right. So the train is mom. We'll look at the top four cards of our deck. We'll grab, uh, we'll press done. Not going to grab anything. And we're going to be a Seeker for Sycamore. All right. This is kind of risky because my opponent can't play maybe a Team Rocket's handiwork to win the game. Uh, but we'll Sycamore, discard our hand, draw 70 cards. But there's a Sacred Ash. But no way to get out of DC just yet. I know there's one in the deck. Oh, man. Okay. So it's puzzle time. We'll re we'll see what's left in our deck. A DC, Sycamore, Pikachu. No. Oh, no. So we'll put the DC on top. I mean, it doesn't matter. We're going to play Sacred Ash, put some cards back into our deck. Oh, man, that's just unfortunate. So, we'll put that down. Sacred Ash, we'll put back a, uh... Oh, we can only put down three? Oh, man, things are getting spicy now. All right, let's put those three in our deck. All right. And we will just pass on to our opponent's turn. How many DCs are in Discard Pile? Just two. So, we have two. Oh, we have one DC prize. Okay, perfect. Okay, all right, whatever. Um, let's see what our opponent decides to do. Okay. Hmm... Interesting. Okay, so there is a switch. We're gonna switch into the Mew. All right, and we will see a counter. Uh, there's a Lysander. Going to bring up a Shebe. Fair energy, and we're gonna see an encounter. All right, so we can't win the game just yet. There's no way we can do 50 damage to this Mew, which is very unfortunate. Uh, but let's see what does the Mew get from my opponent. That is the real question. Probably another Waylord, most likely. 
Oh, uh, Darren, for chip off, okay? All right, all right. So that's still, okay, okay, I'm fine with that. Uh, there's a Shea Bay. All right. So I'm going to shame it for two. All right, yeah, we're shaming for two. And let's see, what do we find? One, two, there's a Golbat and not anything else we want. Okay, this is not good. Uh, chip off can't really do much. So I'm going to put down Golbat. Put 20 damage on... Mm, the active. And I'm going to pass onto my opponent's turn. Okay, they have a Durant. Uh, okay, they can put that down. They can use Chip Off maybe next turn. Oh, they can use Chip Off because they have Mew in the active, okay? So we're in our turn onto our opponent's turn, okay? So they're going to draw a card. Hopefully they'll hit a Team Rocket's Handiwork. Or Team Rocket's Handiwork and a Trick Shovel. That can, well, they can't draw two cards. That's impossible. Uh, but we'll see what my opponent decides to do. We have a Crobat next turn. We can knock out the Mew. Uh, okay, so counter. What? We can win next turn. Oh my goodness. My opponent's going to give a Wailer, but this is a mistake by my opponent. They should have put down this Durant. So what we can do now is we can put down Golbat. Put 20 on this bench, Waylord. Yep, we can put down Crobat. Do 30 to the active. We can knock out that Mew. Oh man, this is so close. My opponent made a mistake by not putting down that other guy. Since up Waylord, we're Ultra Ball. We will discard uh, Raichu and Sycamore. Okay. And let's see what's left in our deck. Can we even get anybody? We'll grab a Pikachu. And what we can do is we can be a Seeker for an AZ. We can AZ up that Shebe. Put it back down. Draw a new hand of 7. And knock out this Wailer DX. So let's put down the Shebe. Let's draw this one card in our deck, which is the DCE. And we'll win the game and take the win against this Wailer deck. So put the DCE on the active. And we'll use Circle Circuit for how much? For 180 damage. There we go, guys. And there is the victory screen. We beat the Wailer deck. That was very scary. But it made some crushable moves by not putting that Durant down. And uh, they, I don't know, they had another Wailer in the hand. That would have been fairly difficult. We probably would have lost the game. If they had put down the Durant. Because they put down the Durant, we couldn't have knocked out that guy that turn. My opponent had two prize cards left, and we wouldn't have been able to do anything else. But there you go, guys. There is the Raichu Crobat deck. We barely, barely won that one. That was just misplayed by my opponent. They should have put down the Durant, and they probably would have won the game. But there you go, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great Monday. Hopefully you enjoyed this Raichu Bass deck. And you see how strong it is. We beat a Wailer deck just, just barely, but we take those wins. Alright, guys. Hope you have a great Monday. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Alrighty, bye. Alright guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, 6 Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.